Hi there! I thought I'd do um, a favourite kind of products for April. <clears throat> it's probably a little bit of March, April. I did do one for um, March, I think. Um, but I figured that my April's kind of fit a few more in, so I may as well, I may as well do those now. Um, so yeah, we'll get on with those. My cat always starts up as soon as I start filming, but anyway, if you can ignore it, I shall try my best to ignore it too. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got a couple of different um, products. I've got makeup, um, skin and nails, so I'll get started so that the video doesn't go on for too long because I'm quite conscious that a lot of mine have been getting a little bit too long. So first of all, I'll start with skin. Um, we've been lucky enough to have some really nice weather in the, um, in the UK in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been the Easter holidays for my um, eldest little boy that's still only at preschool but he does get a little bit of a holiday and we've been to um, the seaside and lots of parks and things like that. So I've been very pale, very fair, which I usually am um, and I just wanted to add a little bit of colour. I've tried this with quite a few um, daily moisturisers um, and I have been using a, a Dove everyday moisturiser although I've not brought that upstairs to show you but I, I can put that in the in the bar at the bottom just just to kind of add a little bit of, of sort of daily colour through the day just to build things up however if I do want um, some you know really good colour just to really you know one kind of application that will just make me feel quite nice and bronzed um, I've kind of stuck with this brand for quite some time I've tried a few others but um, Saint Tropez Self Tan Bronzing Mousse is um, is still my favourite so yes that would be um, a summer essential for me um, and along with that I did actually buy this which I've just featured in, in the tutorial that I've got on here and it's um, Saint Tropez Skin Illuminator and this one's in gold I could have bought gold or rose I think um, and I like the gold I'm probably thinking I'll quite like the rose as well but for now I've got the um, Gold, so I'll just see if I can show you. I have used it in this tutorial, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see a little bit. I've just used it as like um, a slight highlight here, but it's just like a white sort of cream, and then when it's blended, let's see if I can show you. It does just catch the light with a soft glow, and it smells lovely. It's like it smells really quite summery. It doesn't smell like Saint Tropez, which is quite nice. So yeah, that's one, and I think you can just use this. Obviously, I've used a little bit on my face as a highlight. You can just use it around here, um, on your shoulders. I guess you can just put it all over your arms if you mix it in with a bit of your normal moisturiser. It's probably a little bit thick um, for a moisturiser, um, but I would have thought if you mix it in with the usual body moisturiser, that'll be fine. Um, I've got quite a large range of um, different moisturisers that I like to use in the summer for my body. Um, I tend to go through a bit of a fad where I'll just think oh I like that one I like that one I like that one <clears throat> and I tend to buy quite a few different ones um, but the one that I come back to every year and I've been using this for the past 10 years and I don't know if it's because it reminds me of um, when I was younger and I used to use it or holidays or, or whatever but it is just Nivea lotion so it's their original Nivea non-greasy for normal skin light moisturizing and cleansing lotion so um, it leaves a little bit of a sheen on your skin, you probably can't see just there, but it leaves a little bit of a sheen and um, it smells quite lemony so it smells really nice and fresh and it just leaves everything looking a bit sheeny and that kind of look when you've put your suntan lotion on and it gives you a nice um, finish. So I tend to use that one in the evening and then in the morning when I'm um, getting ready to go out. Okay, so I think that's probably it for um, skin. Um, except for, I did go to, um, to buy to pick up Clarins Skin Illusions Foundation. I've um, had quite a few friends bought this. I um, recommended it for another one of my friends because I'd tried quite a few samples. Um, my stepmom bought it. We went into our local um, like little department store and um, <clears throat> I did recommend this one for her because she'd been using um, Estee Lauder, I can't remember which one she'd been using now, but I just said it's very worth giving this one a go. So this is my favourite foundation for myself at the moment. Not too sure I'd use it for photographic because I've got a feeling it's um, a bit of a light reflective. But I have worn it on a night out and it photographed really nice. 
it looks really natural it, um, it looks really natural it gives um, quite a lot of a lot of coverage and <clears throat> just generally it looks um, like skin but like nice fresh skin and um, also have, has a lovely scent it smells a little bit like an old DR foundation um, I can't which one it is now okay and at the same time as getting that one I bought the um, Clarins Beauty Flash Balm brightens and tightens so generally apply um, a thin layer and smooth it over the skin almost like to make a film um, and it just helps to brighten the complexion I've used this on quite a lot of different clients um, especially older clients that just need a little bit of pepping up um, for a bridal morning so yesterday I did a bridal job for um, <clears throat> four generations of ladies and it was lovely actually we had um, the great nana the nana, mum and daughter and the mum was the bridesmaid, uh, sorry was the bride and obviously we had all of those to do and the, the two older ladies had never really bothered to wear makeup before at all so I wanted to keep it nice and natural um, and they felt a little bit tired and things like that so this just made them feel you know <clears throat> instantly hydrated and just gave them that lovely kind of glowy skin and also helped me to prime the skin before I applied a little bit of um, a light foundation. Okay, so say so that's it for for those. Um, my next favourite, my skin's been up and down, as always. Um, don't think the Easter Bunny really helped me because he brought lots of chocolate to our house, and um, I ate it. I know it's really bad. Um, so I've been wanting to still wear quite a lot of coverage on my skin, which I didn't want to really. I wanted to um, to be able to step down and use maybe a tinted moisturiser, but. My skin's not having it, so what can you do? So I've been using um, the Clarins Skin Illusions, a little bit of um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, just in these areas here where I keep getting breakouts. And then just to finish it off, I've been using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Um, and it's here, so it's just like a finishing powder, but it's got minerals in, so you get that nice kind of sheeny finish. I've heard quite a few people say this is a lovely finishing powder if you use um, MAC Studio Finish because that can be quite heavy um, and I find that this works just as well on top of my foundation. Again, not too sure it's brilliant for photographic um, but I love it anyway. I don't get photographed all the time so I don't really mind. It's quite nice just to wear it <clears throat> for every day. Okay, um, other favourites, makeup favourites, um, yeah recently went um, to get some new bits and pieces for my bridal kit and I purchased Painterly Paint Pop by MAC. I have been using Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I know this won't be the colour that will suit everybody but it just creates a really nice base on the lid. The eyeshadows are blending nicely on top of it and um, it's just nice on its own actually. Um, next is um, MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink. I did actually get one of these um, for my kit, so I'll just pop a little bit of that on so that you can see. I've got a um, boy bait on at the moment for the other one, but I'll just add a little bit of this one. So it's like um, a soft baby pink, but the cream sheens just feel really moisturising um, and easy to wear. Okay, next favourite product, I use this on um, every single bride, I think it sets the makeup beautifully, it just makes it really settle into the skin, um, stops ma the makeup looking like makeup, um, just makes it look like really lovely skin, freshens, freshens up, lovely when it's hot weather and you just need to freshen the makeup up, um, this one's MAC Fix Plus Lavender, <clears throat> but the original one's um, a rose fragrance I think. Um, is there anything else? Yes, a <clears throat> couple of um, new eyeshadows. Favourites for um, the month of sort of March and April have been um, Sable, which is this one here, um, Patina, this one here, and where's my other favourite one? Do I have another favourite one in there? No, I don't think it's in that one. <clears throat> Let me just have a look. No, where has it gone? It's quite possibly in here. Which is my other favourite? Oh, it's just one that I use quite a lot and it's this one here which is Naked Lunch. Or All That Glitters. I think All That Glitters is a little bit more sparkly and um, 
Naked Lunch is just a really nice kind of all over sheeny eyeshadow. <clears throat> Moving on quickly to um, nails. I like bright colours, pastel colours, that kind of thing in the uh, summer, dark colours in winter, it's kind of a bit of a tradition. So um, I recently had my toes minxed, I've got like a zebra print on which is quite nice, so I don't really have to think about those at the moment. They've been on sort of three weeks now and they still look lovely. I won't show you my feet though because that's kind of weird on uh, camera. <clears throat> but um, favourite nail varnishes, I've gone down the pastel road, I've been wearing quite a few brights in spring and now I've gone kind of pastel. And one of my favourites um, that I got last year is um, Essie Van der Goe. Um, although Essies are a bit hit and miss for application, so this one I think I need a couple of coats with it, um, <clears throat> but it can look a little bit like Tipexy. Tipexy, is that a word? No. Um, so <clears throat> when I don't have those, um, I always tend to pop into Superdrug and I absolutely love um, Barry M nail polishes. I have a big box here with lots and lots of nail polishes in and I'd say embarrassingly I think I've got most of the Barry M shades. So these were a couple that um, I think one of them I had last year. <clears throat> so these ones here. So I think these two here are new. So this lilac one here I had on last week and that is um, Berry Ice Cream. <laughs> That's the ice cream ones. Um, and this one here is Peach Melba, so I'm hoping that's going to be my new replacement for Van der Goe. I think it's a bit more peachy rather than pink, but it should be quite nice. And um, this one is Strawberry Ice Cream, so Berry Ice Cream, Strawberry Ice Cream. Nice, aren't they? I like those. So they're going on my holidays with me next week. Um, not going anywhere exciting or fancy. Um, we're going to um, Scarborough from Monday to Friday just to fit in with um, the bridal work that I've got at either side at weekends. So um, that should be nice, I'm quite looking forward to it. So I'm hoping, I've got um, a natural bridal tutorial to upload for you. Um, I've got this um, kind of Indian inspired tutorial. So hopefully I can get those um, uploaded and then I can set them going while I'm away and you've got something to look at. I hope you've all enjoyed the nice weather. It looks quite um, thunderstormy out there today. Um, my two little boys are a little play gym um, with my husband John today, so uh, I need to get some work done. This is work to me. This is fun work, but I actually need to um, do some client work, so I best get on with that now. So, um, nice speaking to you again, and um, I'll see you again really soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.